Look, Rex, it's okay. It's me, Aubrey. Do you remember where you are? Aubrey. Yeah. It's okay. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I was just trying to cover you up. Sorry. It's okay. I, th I think you were just having a nightmare. Yeah, who wouldn't in this cheesy room? We're in one of the greatest cities in the world, and we have to stay at Brazil's very own Minuteman. The Motel de Mundo, actually, and it's not so bad. Well, that's just because you're used to the Minuteman. Well, if you'd like to check out and go someplace else, I'm fine. No, there's only one thing I'm going to do right now. I have to call Shane. What did your dad tell you? All I know is that he lied to me. He said that he went down there to help find Liam. And I don't think he would have lied to me unless... Guess who? Hey, Dad. I'd ask if you found Liam, but I guess you didn't because I'm staring right at him. Shane, look, I am so sorry. I should have told you the truth about why I had to go to Brazil. Yeah, you think? I just didn't want you to get upset. This is about Mom, isn't it? There's still some questions that need answers, but this should not take much longer. Can you just cut me some slack for another couple days? I guess. Come on, I'm sure Roxy's ordering pizza like every night. It can't be that bad. It's okay. Save me a couple slices. I'll tell you about my trip as soon as I get back. Okay. I love you, buddy. Love you, too. And Dad? Yeah. I hope you find what you're looking for this time. Me, too. You okay? Shane knows I'm still chasing after Gigi. He's got to be wondering how psycho I am. You're probably just still freaked out from that dream you had. No, it wasn't a dream, Aubrey. It was a memory. Of what? Finding Gigi dead. It's like reliving it all over again. Breaking into that basement. Seeing Gigi there, she wasn't breathing. I kept saying her name. Don't go back there, Rex. You know, we were supposed to get married. I knew something bad had to have happened when she didn't show. That's the only thing that could keep her away. Jack Manning. He went online, pretending to be this girl, inviting Shane to this party. Gigi found out and went in Shane's place. And got trapped. There was this broken generator and it was leaking carbon monoxide. By the time I got there, it was already too late. I need to get my old face back and as soon as possible. You will. If Rex had seen me looking like Gigi back from the dead, I, I swear to God, I never hey, would have forgiven myself. Hey, relax, relax. You don't need to worry about that now. Rex and Aubrey are long gone. I'm sorry you had to remember all that. No. Please, I'm sorry. It must have scared the hell out of you grabbing you like that. I knew you weren't going to hurt me. That's the last thing I'd want to do after everything you've done for me. What have I done? We haven't found what we came here for. You've had my back the whole way. Aubrey, I'd be lost down here without you. Are you really sure that Rex and Aubrey are gone? Why would they stick around? My long lost mother actually managed to convince them that she was the woman they were looking for. The one Rex thought was Gigi. Yeah, and I still can't believe you bought that. Never underestimate the power of Alex Olenoff. Well, I guess it's a good thing I stopped you from killing her. I only did it because of you. Never thought I'd be happy to see my mom, but uh, if we hadn't run into Alex, Rex would be onto us for sure. Uh, I'm gonna jump in the shower. I want to get back to that plastic surgeon's office. But what if Cutter talked his fake Gigi into going to a different surgeon? Why would he do that? So he wouldn't get caught by you. No, wait, Cutter thinks that I bought that crazy story from Alex Alanov, and that's just what I wanted to think. So you... Please, not even the most genius surgeon can make Alex Olenov look like Gigi. So we know that Cutter has to be hiding that woman I saw back in Landview. Today's the day I find her. God, there must... Yeah, that's somebody who can post bail. Aubrey? Hi! Where have you been? I call you for Thanksgiving? I'm sorry, I've been in Brazil. Brazil? Why? Rex needed my help. Oh, really? For what? To help him get over Gigi Morasco? I came to Brazil because I thought Rex needed a translator. What's the fala Portuguese? Enough to get by. 
Okay, so how do you say this? I'm hopelessly hung up on a guy who cannot get over his dead fiance. Okay, I'm hanging up now, Rama. Come on, Aubrey, I just want the truth. The truth? Okay. Rex is not ready for a relationship, and neither am I. We're just friends, that's it. I know you have a heart because Aubrey broke it. I'm sorry, Rama. I have to go. I will talk to you when I get back into town, okay? Wait! Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, it's fine. We were done. Uh, there was nothing. Rama just called to say hi. You okay? Yeah, fine. Great. Just gonna take a shower and let you get dressed in private. Just so you know, the water's like ice. Great. Couldn't be cold enough for me. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's okay. Where'd you go? I went shopping for our next doctor's visit. That receptionist is gonna be gunning for us. Right, which is why I got this. Right. Okay. Hey? Eh? Uh -huh. Does anybody gonna recognize me? No. Okay. Alright, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> Seriously? Are, are you gonna laugh? Are you gonna help me out? Oh, that's all dry. Oh my gosh, you weren't kidding. Here, wait, let me just do it. Got it? Yeah. Oh. Oh.